In recent times, China has undertaken a series of projects, a lot of high capital and effort-intensive projects in every sector, especially in science and technology. In the engineering sector, China has become a giant at the forefront of innovations and mind-blowing projects. China has undertaken projects and is still undertaking projects that other countries only think of in their dreams. These projects are not just to flex their engineering prowess alone. These projects are also to make their economy stronger and to make life easier and better for the citizens and those living in China. The main aim of China is to make themselves better with the resources they have and from the things they plan to do next, which we are about to show you in this video, you would agree with me that China has become a god in engineering. The Chinese government has created bridges tens of kilometers long. They have made high-speed train lines connecting as far as Beijing and Shanghai, and they are not done. They plan to create a mega city that can host 80 million people. Yes, you heard me right, 80 million people. The Chinese are being hailed internationally to be infrastructure and engineering freaks. This is out of admiration and awe of their ability to build large-scale engineering projects. When it comes to large-scale construction, one thing that amazes the whole world is the speed at which they execute those large projects. These Chinese engineers are always jokingly referred to as superheroes, and rightfully so, these engineers build bridges in 30 days. These large projects and the speed of execution are mainly because they want to meet the needs of their country's growing population. China is one of the largest developing countries, and its infrastructure is one of the most important means of achieving economic and social development. In fact, China has now surpassed Japan as Asia's number one economy and has become number two in the whole world. Thanks to its infrastructural prowess, China has broken unimaginable records in nation and economy building, doubling their GDP very easily. It took the UK 58 years, it took the US 47 years, Japan 34 years, and Brazil 18 years. Whenever there is a search for modern infrastructure, especially in bridge making, China is always the place to look at whether you are looking for bridges that are insanely long or bridges that look like they defy the laws of physics. China is the place to find it. However, there is a reason China is very keen on building bridges. It has historical backing and it isn't just a mere coincidence. We will get into all that and more about how China's infrastructure is shocking American engineers. First, we would take the way back to the classic bridge type that China started as far back as the 1930s, the Girder Bridge. This is an ancient bridge design with two girder supporting pillars. The horizontal distance between the centers of adjacent pillars represents spans reflecting the bridging capacity of the Girder Bridge. The Hangzhou Chentang River Bridge uses the girder system. This bridge is the first bridge independently designed and built by China in 1937 due to the uninterrupted and continuous nature of the beams they can provide higher load carrying capacity and achieve larger spans. These bridges allowed for distance covering between cities. This design has helped China scale large rivers. These steel bridges are not only technologically advanced, they are very expensive, but they also helped railway construction. With the advent of new bridge construction technology, Chinese engineers can easily bridge through rivers. The principles are quite simple but very smart. Pre-stressed steel bars embedded in concrete take advantage of shrinkage of the steel bars to balance external forces. This allows the bridge structure to withstand greater loads. This technology is called pre-stressed concrete technology and it is more cost-effective than traditional concrete technology. The cost-effectiveness of the pre-stress technology has helped Chinese engineers to build a lot of long-distance bridges. So far, the application of the girder bridge has become very widespread and revolutionized as well. In fact, it has become so widespread to the point where some of the parts can be factory produced in advance, even before there is a need for a bridge, and can be assembled on site when there is a need for a bridge. 
Although there can be limitations on the girder bridge when connecting hundreds or thousands of spans, it is still possible to stretch the bridge over rivers, lakes, or even oceans to reach lengths of over 165 kilometers completely beyond the road surface, making them one of the longest bridges in the world. However, to increase the span, the girder bridge system would undergo a series of technological revolutions. The external appearance of this kind of bridge is very similar to the girder, but its beams and piers would be fixed into a block to help resist the bending of the bridge itself, which means that with the support of pillars, the beams can achieve a larger span. The problem with this revolutionized system is that it is sensitive to expansion and contraction because heat makes them deformed and even collapse. To address the challenge, the Chinese engineers designed taller pairs for cable stay bridges, making them more flexible and reducing the risk of pair deformation. In rocky or mountain-dominated areas, designs with very high pairs are always needed because they are the most suitable. The Aijong Mega Bridge is a bridge high and above that looks like it is soaring into the sky with pairs crashing directly into the valley. It stands at an incredible height of 190. Equivalent to a building with 60 stories, it is the highest building in Asia and is one of the projects that would always leave American engineers astonished. The Equatorial River Bridge, completed in 2006 with a maximum span of over 330 meters, has become the largest pre-stressed concrete continuous steel thrust bridge in the world. When faced with cliffs or deep valleys, it is necessary to have a bridge form that can span the entire distance with a single span such as an arch bridge. This arch structure requires not only both ends to lift the bridge upwards, but also to create a strong transverse thrust. The thrust is to counteract the deformation of the arch, therefore increasing the span of the arch. For example, the Chinese pioneered thrust arch bridge has a slender concrete arch that makes it lighter and has a span of 330 meters. When conventional arch bridges reach their span limit, more and more improved arch bridges, for instance, pouring concrete into steel pipes would give it an extra layer of protection that makes it stronger than ordinary concrete. In addition, steel pipes can serve as a construction frame that reduces the difficulty of building arch bridges. With the increase in China's steel production, steel arch bridges are also increasing alongside steel structures and other designs, casually creating one engineering feat after the other. The Chinese engineers, thanks to their prowess and ability to maneuver through the limitations of bridge-making systems, have made a bridge that spans over 600 meters. Even after such a great feat, China still plans to build a larger bridge that spans over 1,000 meters in a very short time. The next one is the Yangtze Wuhan River Bridge. Video cannot do justice to how grand and aesthetically pleasing this bridge looks. The main cables of this bridge are made with high-strength steel wire with a diameter of 5.5 mm forming bundles of 127 wires each and 352 bundles forming a design with parallel duo cables. The main cable serves as support for the bridge but also proves how good the Chinese engineers are. The bridge can withstand up to 100 times the weight of the beams up to 70,000 tons. All of these bridges are nothing to Chinese engineers. There are even more mind-blowing things they have created. The Shenzhen Gangzhen Carnal Bridge is a trans-sea engineering feat that has rattled the world. Let's focus on the underwater tunnel formed by the 32 segments of the eight-lane, two-way steel hold tunnel. The length of this tunnel is 6.8 kilonaurus. It is astonishing to see how engineers overcame barriers in the construction world. They have laid down some blueprints that have helped other engineers to make major leaps in construction and other scientific endeavors. This is only the beginning of greater things in the Chinese community. Through hard work on these insane projects, China has been revolutionized. From the amazing Dujiang Weir to the Grand Three Gorges Dam, from the Great Wall to the modern high-speed railway, from the regal Forbidden City to the Vivid Bird Nest. 
Chinese engineers are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible with the help of science and technology. Chinese engineers have proven to us that anything is possible. The only boundaries are the ones we set for ourselves. That will be all for today on Power Pulse. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video in the comments. I will be checking. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons as it gives the perfect motivation to keep creating contents like this for you. And also click the notification bell so you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. See you again soon. Cheers.